It's the ranking Buffalo doesn't want to brag about. It now ranks as one of the most dangerous cities in the country. Good evening. When it comes to crime, the Queen City does not shine too brightly. Buffalo now joins the ranks with some of the most violent urban areas in the United States. Buffalo ranks as the 10th most dangerous city, according to Forbes. So, what does the City of Good Neighbors have to say about this? News 4's Luke Moretti is live for you tonight. Luke? Well, let's be honest, this is not the kind of list anyone wants to be on, especially when it comes from an image standpoint. And today, Buffalo's police commissioner tried to put the best possible face on it. Buffalo Police Commissioner Daniel Dorenda has a message for people living in and visiting the city. I want them to know that Buffalo is a safe city. They should come down, enjoy themselves, and, and, and feel free and, and feel safe. That's the reaction from top police brass after Forbes magazine released its list of America's most dangerous cities. Buffalo is ranked 10th. Detroit is number one. Dubious distinction, though, right? To be on the top it, 10 list? The perception is, is not good, but the reality is violence in the city of Buffalo is down. Dorenda says last year homicides were at a 10 year low and points to a 17 percent drop in violent crime since 2005. You don't want to be in the top 10 of this list. Uh, I have no idea why Chicago's not in the top 10 uh, with over 400 murders, but um, you know, they must be using some statistics that really don't reflect the reality on the streets. Forbes ranked U.S. cities with a population over 200,000 according to their violent crime rate. Resident Pamela Mishko says she's not surprised by Buffalo's ranking. There's a lot of crime around here. And instead of giving tickets to people, go where the crime is. Melinda Morlock thinks patrols could be better utilized. They're not where they should be. Where I think is, and I come down, I used to come down a lot more, but they're not where the, the, the dangerous hotspots are. But Murray Holman, executive director of the Stop the Violence Coalition, doesn't think the numbers reflect the reality on the streets. I don't see it. I don't see the numbers like that. Um, we, we do tremendous work in the city for us to be number 10. I said they got to begin the, their numbers wrong some kind of way. Yeah, and so this data focused on cities, not larger metropolitan areas, and uh, that could have an impact and could put older cities like Buffalo at a disadvantage when it comes to crunching those numbers. Don and Jackie? Luke, does the police commissioner seem genuinely surprised by this ranking? Yeah, I think he was. There was no question about it. Obviously, everything that Daniel Dorenda has seen thus far over the years points to uh, those numbers coming down in terms of violent crime. But he did admit that he didn't see the report and didn't know what the methodology was used in uh, in putting these rankings together. Don and Jackie. All right, thanks, Lou. And we're at.